The former Destiny's child star, 43, right, was said to be, shocked, by the 78-year-old publicly supporting country music awards bosses not to nominate the single ladies singer in any category for her worldwide hit album Cowboy Carter. U.S. civil rights groups have branded the snub, racist, and Beyonce's dad Matthew Knowles fumed, there's more white people in America and unfortunately they don't vote based on ability and achievements. Dolly, who performs alongside the star in a new version of her classic Jolene on the album, sparked a backlash by backing the Country Music Association. She said, there's so many wonderful country artists they probably thought, we can't really leave out some of the ones that spend their whole life doing that. Dolly was supported by country star Luke Bryan, who has sold more than 75 million albums globally and suggested Beyoncé may be perceived as too aloof for the mainstream country music scene. He said, everybody loved that Beyoncé made a country album. Nobody's mad about it, but where things get a little tricky, if you're gonna make country albums, come into our world and be country with us a little bit. Beyoncé is probably the biggest star in music and can do exactly what she wants but come to an award show and high-five us and have fun and get in the family too. I'm not saying she didn't do that, but country music is a lot about family. But singer Kelly Clarkson, 42, sprang to Beyoncé's defense, claiming she was warned at an industry lunch that her country songs would not be played unless she quit other genres. In a personal message, the Since You Been Gone star added, I think the real win here is that you don't even need the award. You're killing it, regardless. The awards ceremony takes place in Nashville, Tennessee, on November 20th.